Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of QuickBooks Online Connector for Magento 2. In today's video tutorial, we'll be showing you how to generate the client ID and the client secret. So uh, before we proceed uh, further for the module configuration, uh, we just need to have the client ID and the client secret. So uh, today I'll be showing you how to generate the uh, keys and for that, uh, we'll go to the uh, website that's uh, developer.inqt.com and here we just need to click up on the sign up button if you already have an account you can directly log into your account and then go to the keys section or the settings section as per your uh, need so uh, if you don't have an account just create one uh, so that uh, we can proceed further and create the client ID and the client secret so we just need to type in the email address the first name the last name we'll set up the password we'll reconfirm the password and after that we'll click on the create account button now this would create your account and uh, after this is done you just need to select your current location so I'll be selecting India as my current location and after that I'll be selecting a role uh, that is just that that would best describe me so I'll be selecting it as a small business owner and uh, we'll be selecting the QuickBooks online here and we'll click the all set button after this we'll uh, go to the my app section currently we don't have any uh, app uh, so we'll create one first so for that we'll click on the uh, select APIs button here on the right hand side and after that the pop up that comes up here we'll click on the checkbox for the accounting and uh, we'll click, click the create app button and this would create a new app for us so uh, we have created our app and uh, We are done creating the app so uh, let's uh, go to the settings uh, section first and let's uh, rename our app so that it is better recognizable and you can uh, rename your app as per you, as per your requirement uh, you can also set the terms of service links like the license agreement and the privacy policy you can set them up here and uh, for the countries you accept connections from they're already uh, selected uh, you can also uncheck as per your requirement and uh, just click the save button after that now go to the keys uh, section by clicking the keys and here you'll find your development keys so you have the client ID and the client secret and you can make use of both of these keys for the development purposes if you are uh, testing your application uh, in the first place and to create your production keys uh, you'll have to complete uh, some requirements so for that you need to verify your email address you need to complete your account profile and uh, you need to provide your privacy policy and other uh, links uh, in the uh, part sections so before that uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll set up the redirect URL uh, uh, for your app so for that you just need to click up on the add URL button and after that so uh, I'll just paste uh, an example uh, so uh, the section that says example.com that would have to be replaced by your own domain name so currently I'm uh, using uh, this uh, demo so I'll be using the domain name and that would be uh, uh, I'll replace it with that 
the rest of the uh, section will be saved so that's there and I'll just uh, click save after that so I've set the uh, redirect URL so that was about uh, the first of the uh, first it was the development keys we have generated them you can copy it from here and paste them back in the admin back in configuration uh, panel and uh, for the redirect URL we have set the redirect URL as well so uh, let's go ahead and let's see how we can uh, generate the production keys so before that we need to verify our email address and two other points are also to be covered so first we'll uh, verify our email address and here I'll click the verify email button and I'll click the send verification email and after that we need to verify it on our email address and now I'll click on the uh, confirm your email and after that uh, I'll click on the continue button so my email address is verified now I'll go back to my Intuit account and uh, here I'll click on the my apps uh, section and then uh, I'll click on my application that I had created and here I'll go to the keys section again and I'll just scroll down now I just need to complete the account profile so I'll go here and I'll type in my telephone number I'll set in the address I'll scroll down. I'll set the city, state. I'll set the postal code. I'll set the company name. And the platform is already selected there and I'll click the save button after that so the email address has also been verified now the last step that remains is the uh, service links uh, and that is uh, that will just go back to my apps click on the apps keys then come down and click on the privacy policy and, and here just enter the license agreement uh, link and the privacy policy link I'll just copy the license agreement and I'll paste the privacy policy and after that I'll click the save button now I'll go to the key section and I just need to scroll down the first are the development keys and now here you can see the production keys are also visible you can click on the show button to see the client ID and the client secret for the same and if you are using your app uh, in the line mode then you can make use of the production keys and similarly for the production keys you can set the uh, uh, redirect URL as well so so that was all about how to generate the client ID, client ID and the client secret uh, and how to create uh, or generate the development keys and the uh, and the production keys. So I uh, hope it helped you out and thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.